Hey folks, it's Mr. Woodward showing you a demonstration of what's called the motor effect, which illustrates right-hand rule number two that relates the directions of magnetic field, electric current, and magnetic force. So first of all, I've got over here a really big horseshoe magnet that's got a north pole on top, a south pole on bottom, and there would be a very strong magnetic field between the two of them as if uh, the magnetic field goes from north to south. So to show you that, I'm just gonna sprinkle some paper clips in that space, and you can see that they're easily attracted to the magnet. So in this space right here, where the magnetic field is really, really strong, I'm going to put a wire, and I'm gonna show you the motor effect. So I'm gonna take this yellow wire, I'm gonna to try to place it in this space right here where the magnetic field is really strong, and I'm gonna see if it does anything. So first, I'm gonna hang it on these paper clips up here and try to get it to sit right in that space. Pretty good right there. So um, it doesn't really do anything dramatic, it certainly doesn't move like the paper clips do. But what I want to do in this demonstration is run an electric current through the wire to see if that affects the way that the wire behaves. And to do that, I'm going to connect it to this power supply over here. The power supply has a positive terminal here on the red, negative terminal here on the black. And conventional current always flows from positive to negative. So I'm going to attach the red end to this side of the yellow wire. I'm going to attach the black end to the other side of the yellow wire. And this means that current is going to flow, again, out of the positive terminal. So current is going to go up the red wire, down the yellow, to the right across this strong magnetic field, up the wire, and then back to the power supply. So um, let's see if running current through that wire does anything. I'm going to turn it on. And the wire jumps pretty dramatically backwards. So why does it do that? Let's use the second right hand rule to figure out why. So the second right hand rule tells us that we always place our four fingers in the direction of the magnetic field. So from north to south is the direction, so the magnetic field is down. Then we take our thumb and we put it in the direction of the current. Well current in this case is moving to the right across the yellow wire. So four fingers down, thumb to the right. And then the magnetic force is always the direction that my hand would slap, which is this way. You can also think of it as coming out of the palm. And so that means I'm generating a force in that direction, which is exactly why the wire jumps inwards. What happens now if I reverse the direction of current in the yellow wire? Well, the easiest way to do that would be to switch the red and the black connections. So now, Black is connected to the positive terminal, which means that current is going to go up the black, down this side of the yellow, to the right across the yellow, and up, down the red, and back. So now, if I turn on the current, the wire jumps the other way. Using the second right-hand rule, we can explain why. So now, um, the magnetic field is still in the same direction, still down. But now, current isn't going to the right, it's going to the left. So I put my thumb that way. And now my palm points this way, or my hand would slap outwards. And that's exactly the direction that the wire jumps.